are back. Marie Simpson is back, fresh from vacation, back with us from the Cabrini Diabetes Center with some help, helpful tips on preparing your medications as you get ready to take a summer vacation. A lot yes. of families taking summer vacations, obviously, during the summer. This is the time to do yeah, that, yeah. and you need to be prepared. People with diabetes really need to make sure that they stay hydrated. It's a huge part of taking care of your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, m a lot of people don't realize that dehydration actually causes your blood sugar to rise. So sweating all of these outdoor activities, whether you're at the ballpark or out on the beach, out mm -hmm. under the sun, any of that stuff that's going to cause you to lose moisture is really going to cause your um, blood sugar levels to rise. So making sure that you have something in hand, like uh, obviously water with a little bit of lemon, right. or maybe some Powerade or uh, Gatorade Zero, uh, that something that doesn't actually have sugar in it, but it's gonna right. replace those other electrolytes like the sodium and potassium that you might be uh, losing out in this, the hot sun. Mm -hmm. Things like that. And, well, that's um, key then, staying yeah, hydrated. That's a big yeah. part Having of that it. bottle of water handy. Yes, okay. all the time. Um, the other thing is just making sure that you have extra supplies packed. Most, most of the time uh, you, you're thinking about you know, the swimsuit that you're packing or the extra sunscreen, sure. which is important, making sure that yeah. you have the sunscreen, but uh, making sure that you have um, the actual bottles in their original prescription bottles so that they're, they has your name and, your, and the name of the medication mm -hmm. on it with the dosage so that in, in case something happens that wherever you're going the pharmacy can replace that hopefully. Um, making sure that you have extra syringes if you use insulin and uh, keeping things in mind like not walking into the whirlpool or to the beach, uh, the ocean with your, with your insulin pump uh -huh. attached. And that what you're that's what you have in hand? Yes. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an insulin pump user. Okay. And um, one of my vacations in the past, I acted like learned, I wasn't uh, diabetic yeah. and just walked right into the water with it on. Oh. Uh, not all of them are waterproof. Some of them are, but this one's not. Yeah, yeah if you, you want to hold it first hand. Like it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what a way to learn. Yes, it, it was unfortunate. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, keeping things like that in mind, just right. like your cell phone, you don't want to walk into that with that well, sure. on. Sense. Right. Um, in the event that that does happen, though, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? You want to make sure that you have extra insulin and syringes on hand. Yeah. A lot of people with insulin pumps think that now that I have the pump, um, then I don't have to take shots anymore, mm -hmm. which is true, but, and which is one of the big perks of wearing an insulin pump. Right. But in the event something happens to it, whether the dog eats it or you fry it in the pool, you <laughs> want to have some backup. Well, sure. Uh, and when you're on vacation, I'm sorry, but that's probably not you know top of your list of you know what you need to pack. Exactly. You think you have that covered, so you don't think about the extra pumps. Exactly. So you need to ask your doctor for a, uh, a prescription of long-acting insulin. There are several out there. Um, ask your doctor which one's best for you. And make sure that you have syringes or uh, pin, pin needles to go on the insulin pins if that's the one that he chooses for you. You need to, need to be prepared before you actually leave. That's, that's right. That's, uh, that's key right there. And keep it cool. Um, yeah. It's going to be important to keep it cooler. People with diabetes, I hate to say it, we're a little bit more high maintenance than the average mm -hmm. person. Right. So keeping a little cooler to, so that you can keep the insulin on ice and refrigerated or your insulin pump on ice so that it doesn't get too hot. Marie, quickly touch, we're about to run out of time, the, sure. the Cabrini Diabetes uh, Prevention Program real quick. Yeah. Well, we are, we're happy to launch our Operation Prevent T2, mm -hmm. which is um, the uh, Cabrini's version of the CDC's National Pro Diabetes Prevention Program. Um, and so if you're interested in that, please give us a call. Okay. Uh, it's for people that are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes um, or either have been diagnosed with prediabetes, and we want to get that started here in the summer. Um, so that's so your summer project, right? That's our and summer that's a project. wonderful project. That is a wonderful opportunity for our community. It is. One in three people have prediabetes and don't even Aren't aware know of it. Not even aware, well, exactly. So. Marie, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for being here. And I hope you had a good vacation. I did. I yep. had a great vacation. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope everybody stays safe. More to come on our show this Wednesday. Stay with us.